Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to another sponsored video by Oasis Gaming. We are back in Tiger Knight Empire War as the Romans have invaded. And if you don't know what Tiger Knight Empire War is, basically it is a free to play game which you guys can go and just open up Steam right now and download for free and go ahead and start jumping straight into the battlefield. The main game modes are a 6v6 where you play as kind of almost like a super soldier. I don't want to call him a super soldier because you can go down really quickly if you get mobbed by enemy soldiers. But you play as kind of a, a stronger soldier than the rest of your cohort and then you command a bunch of soldiers which you can see these are my Hestati which I'm using uh, and you command these I think they range from how many men are in the units yeah these levies have 30 these guys have 26 and you can go and command these soldiers to go and attack certain areas you can use them to form certain defensive positions like these Hestati can form a test judo formation where they put their shields down and then the dude behind them sticks their shield above their head and that gives them a great defensive capability you can also use them uh, to go and mob certain people and uh, overwhelm positions and it's really cool um, and you obviously run around on the battlefield as well as your soldier you can see mine right here in his glorious Roman uniform as well as that you also get kind of like a sub commander dude who is controlled by the AI but he's much stronger than the normal dudes and with the Roman DLC I've got this guy who is definitely not Russell Crowe from Gladiator a uh, hundred percent not him copyright <laughs> but yeah he looks cool and yeah it's, it's basically all the game is you can go check it out now for free and if you like what you see here make sure to drop a like and a comment down below so today we're going to be looking at the Romans as they have just come out from the new DLC from this game and I'm super pumped to play them because I've been waiting for these Romans to come out for some time now. So what we will do is we'll run through the barracks and check out all the new units and then we'll jump into some battles. If you want to skip straight to the battles then feel free to do so. Um, I'll leave a skip to battle button in the description. Just click that and that'll take you straight to the battles. Okay, so let's look at the upgrades. So again, something they've actually done, I guess I should say about the UI first as well. They've actually completely cleaned up the UI and made it much clearer to people who are playing the game, which is amazing. This was one of my major complaints when I was when I did my last sponsored video, was just the sheer amount of clutterness on the actual UI when you loaded up the game. It was just, there was just buttons everywhere and it just didn't really make a lot of sense. But now they've made it much more accessible and I think this is a great change. As well as that, another great change I think they've made is they've kind of combined tiers of units with experience so previously and with a lot of things with previous or with other free to play games is they they go ahead and lock experience just to one unit however what tiger knight have done which i think hopefully other free to play games do adapt is they've made it so that your experience is combined to the tier of the unit so for all my my i guess my roman basic units these guys all share the same experience so if i say for example want to go ahead and play some levy captains just because i enjoy it and i have my hastati unlocked all the experience i get with these guys i can then spend on upgrading stuff for these guys for my hastati even though they're a different unit and I think that's a great, great move, and it makes it feel a lot less grindy, and also kind of allows you to go back and play older units, which you might enjoy their playstyle a bit more, but that allows you to then, you know, still upgrade and progress in the game, which is really, really cool. So as you can see, my Roman basic experience covers my first four units, so I can play any of these units if I have them unlocked, obviously, and I can get experience for all of them, which is, which is really, really cool. So if we look at some of the units, we've got the Levy Captains, which I've unlocked and progressed. Then I've also upgraded my Stati. We've got some of these dudes as well, which are more heavily spear focused. You've got some of more of the Prinkipes, which look extremely heavily armoured with their Pelum already. Um, then we go up to some Swordman Chief, again, some heavy infantry. I think all the Roman heavy infantry is just going to be brutal. You can already see the strength. These guys are going to excel at heavy infantry. And then you've got these dudes as well right at the end. And obviously, they're going to add more units as the game goes on. I'll probably adding a ton more cavalry and some more skirmishers later on down the line. I mean, I'm pretty excited to see what their cavalry looks like because uh, I already really, really like the aesthetic look from the Roman soldiers. As well as that, you can see that we have got a definitely not Russell Crowe kind of captain. So if you don't know what these guys are, these are kind of like a much more powerful variant Oh, they're like, they're like the middleman between your soldiers and you. So they're kind of like just a stronger captain dude. And they also allow you to form certain formations, etc. And obviously this one is definitely not Russell Crowe from Gladiator because of copyright, obviously. Uh, but yeah, he still looks awesome. And he definitely looks very, very Roman. And he, look, he looks pretty stacked as well. So he's going to be leading my soldiers. We'll see him on the battlefield. 
Battlefield field and i think we're ready to jump in i think i've kind of gone through all the stuff in the upgrade uh, in the in the new dlc i believe i have yeah let's call it let's jump into a battle then so let's click start and again you know this is just so much more nicer than the, than the previous ui was in the pre in the in the older version of the game so i'm so so pumped that they've actually got this Unfortunately, we don't have sieges unlocked. I think we're still one level off sieges. But if you guys want to see what the sieges look like, then please do let me know in the comments because they are pretty cool. So we're just going to jump in as like a, a normal, a normal battlefield. I'm more than happy just to jump in. One of the negative things I did notice though whilst playing this, because I played uh, in the latest, latest patch anyway. I've played about six or seven games so far. And one of the bad things I did notice was the matchmaking was pretty messed up. Because I'm quite a, a high level due to me playing the Chinese factions, my Roman soldiers get pit, pit against like more elite Roman soldiers or more higher levels. So I'm up against like tier 3 units even though I'm only using tier 1, tier one infantry. We might see a, a good example of that. So I feel like maybe I'm doing something wrong, but also I feel like the game is just made this way. Because when I was playing with other people, I felt like the matchmaking was just a bit harsh. And if you come up against it, you can still win if you're a lower level, but it just makes it, you have to be a lot smarter. So right here, we'll see. Yeah, these guys are pretty high level. These guys are at least tier 3, maybe even tier 4. And I'm stuck here with my tier 2 sword infantry, which I'm still pumped to use. You can see them right there. And again, this screen, you didn't have this screen before. So I'm, I'm really happy that they have updated the game like this. So you can see that we've got some tier 3s, we've got some tier 2s. I guess it's not as bad. It was a lot worse when I was playing with my levies. Because when I was playing with the tier 1 units, I was getting still put up against all these tier 3s. So I guess you can still do very well. And I guess if the, the enemy have the same amount of uh, disadvantage as you, it's not as bad. But maybe I just really, really felt it as a tier 1 general. But now we've got these to start here, I'm excited to see what they can do on the battlefield. And I guess that's exactly where I will see you guys. Okay, guys, we are loading into the game now. We've got this pretty awesome snowy map. There's three places on the map. You can see these question marks right here. These provide you with a bonus or a stat boost. Or it even allows you to replenish your soldiers from battle. Which is cool, especially if you've been in an engagement and you want to get some soldiers back. So one of the main things I would say to new players playing this game is make sure to stay with your team it is so important that you do because if you get overwhelmed which is extremely easy in this game to get 2v1 or 3v1 you're just going to get slaughtered so quickly however if you stay with your soldiers and stay with your teammates you're going to be very 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 well off compared to if you do go alone so as you can guys can see you've got my hastati right here my hastati are done with the kind of the green limeish uh my limeish uh, buttons above their head whereas the blue is my teammates it's nice to see we've got some cavalry as well some chinese cavalry pushing forward um as well as some other roman soldiers so down the bottom in the middle you can see a set of commands so uh if you see f1 allows me to give an order for my soldiers to guard a certain position so if i do this this gives an order for my my hastati or whatever units i'm using to guard this position f2 tells them to follow me f3 tells them to charge forward and attack which by the looks of it is exactly what we're about to get into f4 does a formation unfortunately we don't have one with our russell crow looking uh looking soldier which is all the way back here uh but it looks like there's some is there some enemies behind us you can see our soldiers throwing peeler but i think we want to save that let's get down let, let's just make our way down here and form defensive test judo right here let's get down here boys and then i'll show you guys what defensive test judo looks like so let's form up a defensive test judo boys formation they'll pull out their swords and they should be coming around here unless we're getting assaulted from the side. Oh yeah, there's quite a few soldiers around here coming in. So luckily, we, you know, forming this defensive formation is going to be great for us. We're going to be able to absorb a lot of this ammunition and push forward along towards the enemy as it comes in. So let's go ahead and then break this formation and tell my soldiers to charge forward. Uh, yeah, now they're going to charge forward. They should hopefully break formation. And then we need to start fighting this. So the combat is pretty simple. Uh, it's just like left, right, up and down on the mouse. And that pretty much just does the direction of your attack. As well as that, oh, you can see, we're actually getting smashed from the side as well. Hopefully our defensive test judo is okay. So I've kind of done the one thing that I told you not to do. I told you guys to stay with the team, and that's exactly what I have not done. I've been kind of sectioned off, and I'm being overwhelmed right now. Luckily, we do have some missiles. I have some peeler right there. You can see I'm just chucking in. And I think my men are actually doing an okay job, even though they are outclassed pretty heavily. We'll just try and do as much damage as we can before we get overwhelmed because there is a lot of enemies right here and we are getting surrounded. Luckily, this weapon does a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, I was saying, so upright, left and down is the, is the way to kind of coordinate your attack. So if I want to attack from the right, I'll push my mouse to the right and so on, which is kind of a cool, a cool uh, tactic to implore because it's very much a... Um, 
it's very much easy to easy to use but i imagine it's extremely hard to master you know just anticipating people's attacks and stuff i imagine you know after a while it, you can get really really good at it which is always good to see when you do have uh, when you do have a mechanic like that something which is always much harder to, to master to really show you a skill gap is great so as you can see i am losing this pretty heavily but my soldiers have done a great job and i imagine i've tied up a large portion of the enemy forces so i'm hoping that my teammates have been have been winning the day because i'm about to lose all my soldiers you can see in the far left you can see i only have two of them left so i'm actually going to start to run after this swing i think and i think I've, I've still done plenty of damage so let's run and try and meet up with our teammates again because all our soldiers got killed unfortunately let's try and kill this guy if we can catch up to him Oh, it looks like we haven't. Oh, we're getting chased down as well now. So let's just try our best to, to to whittle these guys down. I mean, luckily, we are a little bit faster than them. That's like the AI commander right there as well. So we, do, we can just keep on going back and kind of kite these guys until we get staggered by missiles. And we can do quite a bit of damage. You can see we are getting hit. They do have a lot of missiles. And there we go. An actual player coming in and, and hitting us is pretty difficult. Luckily, they are falling back. So I guess I'm just going to fall back here. Oh, the, the player is hit, hounding me right now. So we just need to try and escape this player and get back and get some more soldiers. So he's going to be coming in again. Oh, he's going to get his bow out. So I'm just going to be uh, just dodging his arrows for now. And just trying to get out of there. Oh, we just need to run though for now and try and avoid his arrows. Yeah, he's going to get his weapon back out and charge into me. So this is the problem. You've got like the entire army after me now. My allies are just chilling down there. And it's very hard for me to, to get out without dodging. So we just have to try our best to use the terrain to our advantage and tried not to get smashed we can jump down here oh, we, oh yeah nice we almost sent them down there oh this is so difficult yeah we've been overwhelmed and destroyed so our team got slaughtered even though i had like three or four people on me apparently my team couldn't handle and stand the line which again i find sometimes is the case with matchmaking which is unfortunate uh, we also have one guy which is just afk which definitely does not help he is soon yeah i think he's just been afk since the beginning of the game which is something i've found in a lot of these games is i've had quite a few teammates which are actually afk so what we'll do is we'll jump into another one after this because obviously this isn't a great example of the game but if i could have fallen back you see that little marker on the screen right there which says 39 next to it if i would have made it back to that screen i would have then of got a bonus i would have uh, sorry i would have then been able to recruit so my, like, my army back to to me which is great so you can see, yeah, we were outnumbered from the get-go, um, which is something I found is a little bit of an issue. I think in three or four of my games I've played out of the ten, I think I've played on this patch, I've had an AFK, which really does kill it, you know. You know, the majority of the team did do pretty decently, and if we had another person, we would have done really, really well. But unfortunately, that was not the case. We did come second, though, which is which is good. I'm not going to complain about that, but being one man down was just never going to go in our favour. Okay, guys, we are in the next match, and this, this map was actually pretty interesting because it has, like, three positions, but each position is pretty well fortified and allows for certain tactics to be in place so say if you're an archer from this side you can get up on this position and just hammer down the entrances to the central position uh, so by the looks of it hopefully we don't have an afk this time the last one really did suck but it does also go to show how quick these matches can be however hopefully this match will be a good example of how long matches can be because i've played 15 minute matches 20 minute matches before where people keep on going back and replenishing troops and charging into battle obviously the last one wasn't a great example um oh god we have to go all the way around do we to get down this is also a pretty dumb spawn point as well it like puts you all the way up here like what are you gonna do you have to go all the way around just to get down i don't really see why they put you up here because you're never gonna be standing up here it is kind of silly um but yeah we'll make our way down and march out with our romans so we actually have a full roman team right now which is cool and we'll make our way down um but yeah as i was saying like sometimes matches can just go on for so long because you constantly come back you see there's 50 soldiers you can re-recruit up there which is which is good to see um because you if you lose your army in battle just go back there and get some more soldiers and i guess that's when having a horse is really really good because you can just keep on going back to base replenishing your supply of troops and then charging back into the battle I know I've had several battles with Apollo where it just goes on for a much, much longer time. So hopefully all our soldiers are making their way down. I really don't want to charge into battle without uh, without our full strength. And I think that's what exactly what we're doing. We're kind of cl cl uh, cl going up as a team, staying quite close together, which is really, really important. So I'm going to let the rest of my soldiers just catch up with me. I don't want to overcommit when my, my men aren't in position. As well as that, there's a nice thing now which does uh, counting down to uh, opening sites. And this opens up... Oh, our soldiers are committing. Uh, that opens up like the, the boost points. And there's actually a time now, a time limit uh, before... Let's just throw our, our peeler in there. Hopefully we'll hit someone. 
And now there's actually a time limit to like the statues. We didn't unfortunately hit anyone. Our soldiers up here now. Our soldiers are up here. Okay, let's form a, let's get our peeler out. We're going to be throwing out our own peeler. You can see them going in before we charge in. Oh, uh, God. We're actually pretty heavily outnumbered here. Let's form our defensive test judo. Uh, I think in a second when the enemy get a bit closer. Yeah, let's form defensive test judo now. And hopefully we'll be able to do a great job. You can see them already putting up their shields. Also tell them to charge in as well. To move in, boys. Oh, get him down. Get him down. Get him down. He's got a good weapon, but... Oh, damn. I should have had my spear out. I think I would have been much better off. So let's start to swing away at the enemy. Hopefully our Romans are going to be doing a great job in their tight formation. And I'm hoping our allies will actually be able to help us out here. We are up against some pretty good units. I think these guys are Prinky Face right here. I'll kill this special soldier right there, which we have done, now done. And she got pushed back there. Come on, Romans. Hold your line. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. We have to be careful of. Nice. We dismounted him. Pull out our Gladius now. Oh, shit. Let's go. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he hid. We broke his shield. I'll pull out my javelin. Get a nice defense there. Oh, he did a nice little swing there. I'm confident I can take this guy down for sure. Especially if I can make a hit. There we go. Hit him there. Hit him again. Oh, we need to be careful. But I've got an ally coming my way. Oh, he keeps on smashing the inbo. I'm going to go with my spear, I think. Keeping it out of range. Because I've got allies here now as well. So I don't have to get really close up. I'm not good at close quarter combat. So now, yeah, we've, we've clustered him. This is just a clear example. There's like four dudes here, and he's pretty screwed now. He doesn't really have anywhere to go, and we took him down, which is great. A lot of his soldiers are coming in to help out. But yeah, you can see, like, just how much longer this battle has gone on for. I think the last battle was over by this time. Oh, we got like a triple kill there. That's brutal. So the dude is still alive down there. We have to execute him, which I'll try and do now. Oh, that guy beat me to it. Fuck. But you'll see what he does. So if you get knocked down, your allies can pick you back up. If you're, if you, uh... If you get someone to them before someone executes them. The execution is really, really cool. So what I'll do is I'll tell my men just to hold position or follow me again. And if you look at it, we didn't actually lose any soldiers during that engagement. We still have 26 men, which is crazy. It just goes to show the sheer strength of the Roman defensive test judo there. But that was really, really awesome. There's a few stragglers over here left, which we can clear up now. And um, there's obviously a few more armies. So you can see that guy is running back to his base right there. Because he is trying to uh, re-recruit some soldiers. But we'll just clean up the rest of the soldiers here as they try and run away. Hey, you ain't getting away from me, good sir. I will charge you down. Hopefully I'm going to get to him in time. Why is he barefoot as well? Oh, I don't think we're going to get him. No, he's out of our range. Come on, let me get closer. Do I have a javelin left? I do have a javelin left. Good. Oh, I would have been able to kill him there. There we go. Just javelined him to death. Awesome. So, yeah, my army's actually really, really healthy. And there's definitely not Russell Crowe again. So now is, our, now is our final push. So the main objective of this is to either kill all the enemy soldiers or kill their captain who is currently garrisoned inside the city. And I'm super impressed. Even though I've taken like a million arrows, my armor is holding firm. And I'm, yeah, really impressed with how well my Romans held. Now we're going to be pushing into a final, final like boss fight, which is kind of if you ever played like, uh, if you ever played Battlegrounds in uh, in World of Warcraft, it's kind of like that feel, you know. Some of the some of the raids actually did have uh, like a final boss you had to take care of. So we got some more enemy soldiers we have to clear out. I'll use the Roman Gladius to to do so. It does do plenty of damage, especially to these unarmored dudes, because the armor the, the troops you recruit are pretty unarmored, which is good. So let's get our way up here. Let's make our way up here. Let's form. We should form a defensive test judo as well. I don't think we have any ranged weapons left. We're taking a bit of missile fire. Oh god, we got. We, oh my god, I was not paying attention there. Let's get out of there, boys. Oh my god, he does so much damage with that weapon. Holy crap, guys, fight over me. Yeah, he's trying to execute me right here. Come on, boys. Someone hit him. Someone hit him. Oh my god, I got killed there. I had so many people here. Oh, that really, really did suck, but I died. That was awful. So let's zoom out and watch this engagement unfold. And this is what I'm saying. Like, you can get really overconfident. Like, I guess our team did. We were like, oh, we're definitely going to win this. But they have, like, three or four dudes left. I mean, that guy's axe did so much damage to me. That did, like, 60, 70 damage to me, like, per, per strike. I wasn't even paying attention. But you can see, we got pretty overconfident here. We overextended. And they still had some pretty strong units left. And they just turned around and, and killed us. And that's probably, they're probably going to win this now. And we, we did get a decent score. 4,000 is not bad whatsoever. 
But overall, you know, they, they definitely did a great job there. That's why you have to be really careful when you do overcommit. I mean, we overcommitted with... We didn't have one of our soldiers by us, which we probably should have waited for. And he could have definitely have helped. So now we only have one one dude left and he's going to try his best to claim, uh, win the day. I uh, don't know if, that is gonna, if he's going to be able to do that. He's going to form defensive test judo as well. But I can't believe I died. Here is my body right now. Got an arrow in my stomach. But that guy's axe just absolutely annihilated me. And it looks really cool as well with the Romans up there. Yeah, the archers definitely were a pain as well. The archers definitely caused us some issues. And we can just watch the fighting unfold. So I think what I'll do is I'll do one more battle. And then we will uh, call it a day for this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. And obviously if you want to see more Romans and see me advance further on with down the tree. See some higher tier units. Do let me know in the comments. Because I will be more than happy just to do some more videos for fun. Not even a spot. Like I won't do a sponsored video. I'll just do a fun video. Because I do really enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, maybe I can get Apollo to come play with me. And we can play the Romans together and, and check them out. So yeah, do let me know down below. But I think this is going to be the end for us once again. We got oh, we got way too overconfident and we pushed in. And this is going to be our end. As he executes our last Lord. But, you know, it was a better game. Considering we didn't have a an AFK this time. It was pretty good. We just got we just got destroyed by that last push on the enemies, unfortunately. Okay, guys. So I think we're on the exact same map again. I'm going to try and make sure I don't spawn at a stupid position this time. And hopefully we have better luck. Even though we did win the outer battle, when we tried to make that final push, we were just overwhelmed by the superior positioning of their archers. And obviously me getting like free hit was done by me. I obviously wasn't paying too much attention to the front line. But hopefully we'll do better this time. Um, and I mean, as long as I form up a nice defensive position and kind of, you know, position my men well, I'm sure we'll be good. This guy's made the same mistake I has. I have uh, many a time before. Oh, we're also on horseback as well. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and try out being on horseback. I might just dismount and uh, push forward uh, like when we do get into battle. But for now, you know, it's quite quite nice being able to just move around uh, freely. So I think we're going to be taking the left position. Oh, please don't say that guy's AFK. Of course that guy's AFK. Why would he not be? So again, like this is like an issue we, we find in this game is we get a lot of AFKs, which is really does kill it. Because if you don't get, if they get, if they get, uh, you know, six players and you get five, you're normally always going to lose unless you do do something spectacular, which hopefully we will do. Um, I mean, hopefully he does come back, but I feel like he's just going to be AFK for the entire game, which does suck, but we'll persevere. So let's keep on moving forward. I want to stay with my teammates. My soldiers are a bit far away from me, so I might slap a little bit. You can see that some of their soldiers are pushing through with tall grass there. But I think we're okay of just holding this position. Oh, we don't, they're like, our allies, oh no, the dude is now playing, which is great news. Uh, so now we are not, we just kind of need to hold up a little bit and not engage the enemy. Because currently they are playing with a lot more soldiers than we are. So we should take our time here and not commit too, too aggressively to the front lines. Because our dude is now coming, you can see. He is now pushing forward. So hopefully he does get here in time. Oh, there's a lot of archer fire coming in as well. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of enemies up here as well. Oh, I just missed him. Okay, let's charge down their leader. Oh, there's loads of archers here as well. Okay, we can now use our soldiers. Because we we're on horseback, we can kind of be a lot more aggressive here and do loads of damage this way. Uh, I know I still... Oh, my horse is already down. That is not good. And you'll be able to see very soon we are getting overwhelmed here. Let's throw our peeler, get our soldiers up here. Our soldiers are up here now. Let's form our defensive test judo. F5. Get our men to move up. We do need to take care of these archers if we can, these crossbowmen. So I'm going to try and make my way round a little bit. And then get our soldiers just to charge forward. So forward boys onto the crossbows. Let's go ahead and tell them to charge. Hopefully they will be doing that. So they should be pushing forward now. I'm going to try and stay behind them as best I can. Just to obviously protect me. But forward do our defensive test judo. So we do actually have a lot of crossbows here. And we can probably take out a load of these guys. Yeah, they have a lot of crossbows. So if we can take care of the crossbows... Then that's going to be easy work for us because they're not going to be good in combat. And yeah, the crossbows are going into melee now. Let's whip out our javelins, get some nice frozen. Yeah, it does so much damage. Whip out our weapon again and start hammering these fools down. So keep pushing forward because we are definitely doing damage. Especially now we're going to be closing off their retreat as well. Oh, this is going to be glorious. They're going to try their best to retreat, but we have soldiers down here as well. They get smashed down there, that's fine. Yeah, a lot of them are trying to retreat. There's like two lords here we can take out pretty nicely. Obviously, we have to be very careful. He does have a much better sword than me. So I do not want to stay uh, just 1v1 with him. I only do have a, uh, I only have a, a hammer, so it's not going to be doing too great. I'll take out this dude, though. Off his horse, hopefully. Yeah, he's off his horse. And now let's just do damage to him. So this is like the AI component. Let's try and keep this guy at a distance. 
is exactly what we're doing. Hopefully we get some re reinforcements because I am awful at blocking on this game. Like, I am really, really bad at blocking. They have some really good Hastasi here. Like, these are like Prinky Pays by the looks of it. So we have to be very careful. We are actually pretty low on health as well. Knock him to the ground. I've got nine soldiers left, so my soldiers are doing pretty good so far. Oh, there's like two lords here. I, I'm not going to win this fight. Blocked him, though. That was a good block by, by me. And just, again, get back to our soldiers. If I can, I want to get this guy back up. Oh, no, I'm not. We are doing damage to him, but it's just not enough. Fuck, I tried to get out of my, spirit, my, my shield. That didn't work. So, again, we are going to get overwhelmed here. Hopefully, I can get some soldiers to help me. The crossbows have arrived. So, I expect I am going to get picked up by one of the lords. Uh, hopefully, they are going to pick me up. Yeah, as soon as he's finished assassinating him, I am going to get picked up. As long as I don't get assassinated. There must be more dudes here to pick me up. Someone pick me up, please. Please, for the love of God, pick me up. Come on, dismount, dude. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you think he's helping me up right now? Yeah, he did. Awesome. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you can, if you have like, if you kind of overcommit to lines, you can get your allies to pick you up and stuff, which is really good. I'll help this guy up now. I will do my quest to, to help this guy up, which is going to be great. So I actually do have seven soldiers left. So all my soldiers come back to me, reform your line on me. And what do we have here? What is the the position here? I think this is like a buff you can give your soldiers, giving them uh, archer resistance. So we'll pick this up after these guys get it, and the few starty which do uh, stay alive. Get back on our horse as well. Did we get it as well? Did we get the buff? I don't think we did. Oh, yeah. I think it regens, maybe. Maybe it does regen. So we'll just push off. Oh, there's loads more battles down here we want to get involved in. We could also think about going back to base and recruiting more soldiers. That definitely could be a thing. Oh, by the looks of it, we are forming up here. So, dudes, guard this position right here. Form up and give, get ready to give your lives. Yeah, there's plenty of enemies coming in. Form your defensive test, judo boys. Any soldiers that come our way, take them down. This guy is going to be easy to take care of. Nice. Oh, he went flying. Awesome. There's still plenty of enemies, though, going to be coming up this hill. We're going to form a pretty nice defensive test, judo, though. Are there enemies? No, they're falling back. Cool. I'm going to go rush towards that position over there and try and recruit some more soldiers as the enemy are falling back. Because Yeah, they're falling back, so I really want to get over here and recruit some more soldiers from this position. I'm also really low, so I can think about bandaging. Uh, but yeah, you can see that this battle has gone on for much longer than the other ones already. So I'm going to be a little bit slower, I think, than the rest of my teammate getting to their final position. But it's going to be fine. Also tell our men to follow me. Why not? So let's go ahead and start recruiting more men. We, have to, we have to obviously have to capture it first because no one's captured it yet. This is going to give us 16 more men, which is going to be really, really useful. So now we should just be able to start doing this and then men should start appearing, right? When we finally capture it. Yeah, there we go. So I've got a bunch of crossbowmen there. That's cool. I've got crossbowmen and I've got infantry. So that's, that's kind of cool to, to use. I could get back on my horse and charge forward, but I've already committed to, to walking. So we're just going to walk our way to the final engagement. So that's kind of cool. We've got, we got some crossbowmen and we've got some infantry. It'd be nice to see them actually fully flesh that out as well going forward. Actually having like a mix of units. Because you can get 30 men, I think, in most, most units. So, you know, you could actually have, say, uh, say, a big portion of crossbows and just some spears to protect them. Because at the moment, I've got like a really good defensive thing. I can form defensive test judo, and my crossbows can just shoot overhead, which is really, really useful. I have to be very careful of this crossbow, of this guy who's got his axe. That axe seems to be doing lots of damage. My crossbows could just be shooting him, though. Oh, I just formed test judo instead of shooting. Range assaults, boys. Form test judo and shoot. Because the enemies still are very, very potent. I'm also going to take this time to... Uh, yeah, I'm also going to take this time just to heal as well. Hopefully, I'm not going to be getting shot. So if I press 5, I can actually bandage. And I'm actually getting gaining health every second now, which is really, really useful. And you can see my health in the left actually getting put up. So I have to wait another minute to use that before, use that again. I and mean, I've got so many archers coming in as well. This is going to be brutal to try and assault them. It really, really is. Hopefully, we can just take out their, their leaders. So I'll try and assassinate this guy. And this will basically mean I just cave in his head. And that basically means that no one can revive him. And he's just dead and gone. Which is really good because it's just going to give us a bit of a good advantage going forward. Well, there's a lot of archers up here. Let's go forward and kill these guys. Let's throw our javelins out because they just do so much damage. They pretty much one-shot these guys. Pull out our, our, our hammer and go hammer time on these guys. Just cave in their chest. Yeah, these archers are, are dead. I'm not really sure why they are down here because they're not going to survive for much longer. They do obviously have a really good position here, which is super hard for us to deal with. They've got flaming arrows coming in. 
I guess we just form defense this dude again and just try and make our way in. The shield's up. We are actually on fire as well, so I think I'm taking a bit of burn damage. Form defensive test shooter. I've got quite a few crossbows left. Hopefully the crossbows will be shooting up there. We need the crossbows to be pushing forward up there. Yeah, we just need to make our way up and try and take care of them. My crossbows are shooting. It's doing great damage. We are actually top of the team as well. We've got 28 soldier kills and two assists on some generals. So again, it's a really hard position for us to deal with right now. We've also got some men over there by the looks of it as well. Yeah, they've got a full line of Astarte up there. That's not good. But we've got a leader down there as well. Hope we are shooting them a bit, which is good news. But again, we have to be very careful not to overcommit here. I'm going to definitely stick back because I've got a large portion of crossbows. And I want these crossbows just to be like constantly be shooting. So crossbows shoot and help out. Oh, we also have to worry about that. This is like a really good defensive position. I guess we I guess we advance, boys, and just try and get involved and try and do some damage. Because again, this weapon just does so much AoE damage. It might not kill everyone in like a hit or something, but it definitely does rack up some damage. Oh, it's again, we have to be so careful with them. I'm definitely going to keep my arm on their, their leaders, see when they come back in. Because, oh, nice, we dismounted him. Dismounting him is going to be huge. Getting him off that horse is big. Oh, I need to make sure I don't overcommit here. We use our power and we'll try and execute him. Yeah, we got the execute nice. Cave in it. Oh, we destroyed his face with my fucking foot. That's amazing. But we still, we got very low there. I'm not going to commit to using a... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to commit to using a bandage yet. I don't think we need to. I think we can just clean up their soldiers by just swinging in like so. Maybe trying to get some friendly fire on the go. But yeah, we're going to be killing their missiles very, very quickly. And as you can see, their, their leader guy over there is the person we need to kill. Uh, or just kill their generals. So I think we're just going to kill all their generals, if I'm honest. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Because I don't even know where their general is right now. Their last one. I guess we have to go after him. I don't know where their last captain is. But I guess we'll just form up and, and charge in. Dismounting this guy. So he's just basically like a, a super boss. He has a ton more health than everyone else. And we just need to try and kill him. He's got a small group of soldiers who will try and fight with him. Which we can take out as well to make it easier for us to kill him. Which is exactly what we'll do. I've got my crossbows shooting hard. And let's make our way over. Oh yeah, that's where that's this is where the last commander is by the looks of it. There's some soldiers over here. So dismounting him is always the easiest job because now we've dismounted him, he has nowhere to run. But you can see he has a huge health pool. He is what 1,200 health. So we will just keep on doing damage to him, willing him down. By the looks of it, the rest of the team is fighting the uh, the other soldiers. I mean, he's pretty easy to kite. So I might just leave him and go get some more kills on these guys. Because these guys are dead now. Good. So now we can just cluster this guy and try and whittle him down. Because by the looks of it, the rest of the team have just killed the final leader. And there we go. So finally, we did get a really, really good game. Uh, that was very good. I think we came top of the team as well, which is great. Oh, they're trying to finish him off, but he keeps on getting hit. Because if you get hit in the animation of doing this, it counts as it. So we did manage to claim victory. And we came first. We got 8,000 points. I think that's a brilliant way to end it. So I'll see you guys in the, in the lobby again before we end, wrap up this video. Okay, so this is what, what it looks like. I don't think I've shown this before, but this is what it looks like when you end the battle. You jump back into this screen and you get to check out the game itself and, and all the gloriness behind it. So you get to see your loyalty, like how many experience you points you got throughout the game and how many you would get if you kind of have the, the, paid, to, the paid account, you know, VIP status and stuff like that. You can also look at your team record to see how many assists and kills you got. So I managed to kill 37 soldiers during that, which is not bad whatsoever. I got 8,000 points, did a ton of damage. I did so much damage uh, compared to the rest of these guys uh, which was which was nice and then that's awesome so that is tiger knight empire wars with the new roman dlc some awesome stuff i think we're actually getting pretty close to upgrading our soldiers which is which is cool if we go down to rome we can see yeah we're you know another 2,000 points and we'll be able to get the next tier up so overall you know i in the what three battles i've almost tiered up from tier two to tier three so it's pretty quick and i really like this system of having all the xp linked together so if you enjoyed this please do make sure to drop a like and a comment down below also let me know what you thought of tiger knight if you've played it um and I guess I'll see you guys next time and fish out.